Oh, how long I've been asleep. I have to get up immediately because I might miss all the fun today. Mikey's coming over soon. We're supposed to take him for a walk and he's supposed to tell me something very interesting. Let's hope it's just incredible news. I have to go get ready to meet him and I have to bring some cookies and something else good to eat. We also need to go to the mine with him. We kept putting it off, but we need to go and do some work once in a while. Well, let's go down. I was so tired yesterday that I just fell into bed and slept through the day. Let's see what I have in my trunk. Totally empty. Where did all my diamonds go? JJ, hi. I came to you with some incredible news. One of the villagers has decided to sell just a very cool and powerful sword. He's asking for one stack of diamonds, don't you have one to lend me? I want that sword very badly. No, I must have spent all my diamonds, so I can't lend you any, Mikey. You're always like that, JJ. Whenever I ask you for something, you never give me anything. So what if I find the diamonds myself and buy this cool sword? Come on, we'll go to the mine right now and get the right amount of diamonds. Will you come with me? I'd better go and ask the other citizens, maybe one of them can give me the diamonds and then I won't have to go to work. You have to go to the mine and mine the diamonds anyway. Let's pack up and go now, don't waste time. I told you he could sell that sword to someone else. I'll be the first one to get it and you can't stop me, JJ. I understand perfectly well that you want the sword for yourself, but I'll do it first. What? I don't want your sword at all. I'm leaving you to look for diamonds. Friends, I don't understand Mikey at all. Since there's some really cool sword out there, let's go see it, too, shall we? As he said, one of the residents is selling it. A hundred percent, that's what the blacksmith is doing. Hey resident, Mikey told me you're selling some kind of cool sword. Is it true, or are you trying to make money off a regular sword? Of course, I sell ordinary swords too, but this time I have a real magic sword. I found it in a very dense forest and decided I could sell it. It's a real magic sword, probably from one of the monsters in the forest. It has symbols on it that call it the Herobrine sword. Wow, really? What does this sword do that you put such a huge price on it? A whole stack of diamonds. It gives incredible physical abilities. The owner of the sword becomes faster, stronger, and probably smarter. Yes, that does sound very, very interesting indeed. You can keep that sword for me while I go to the mine and get the diamonds. So, friends, we're going to go to the mine now and try to get one stack of diamonds. The task is not the hardest, but we are now engaged in a time battle against Mikey. He, too, is looking for diamonds so he can buy himself a cool sword. How nice that we left a little diamond mine like this to buy something incredibly expensive. Mikey must have completely forgotten about it, but if he really forgot about it, then I'll use it to buy a sword. He and I are on equal footing, but I really feel like I'd be quicker to buy that cool sword from a resident. I will walk around with a magic sword and defend this village from monsters. If I really need it! Anyway, there are lots and lots of diamonds in this mine. We found it a long time ago, but we never had time to dig it all out. Now I have to work a little to earn a cool sword, then I have to run immediately to the resident just so I have time to buy this magic sword. If the resident really didn't lie to me about such effects, this will be the strongest weapon Mikey and I have. I'll let him run around with it, of course, but it'll really be my own sword. I've only got a few more diamonds to get, and then I can get out of this mine. Phew, I did a really good job. There's nothing left to do. Yoo-hoo, we really did it. I don't much like going to the mine myself, but sometimes I have to come down here. Now it's time to get out of here and run to the resident. I really hope Mikey couldn't find any diamonds anywhere and I'll be the first customer. Let's run as fast as we can because I have so little time. I don't want Mikey to overtake me and take my sword. We'll have to test the sword in practice later. Hey resident, I brought your diamonds. Did you leave your sword for me? Yes, of course, I did. Mikey couldn't find the right amount of diamonds after all, so I figured you could do it, JJ. Whoa! I actually got stronger and faster when I just picked up that sword. So you really didn't lie about it being magic. 
Of course, it's a strong enough sword. With it, you can protect our whole village from monsters. Thank you very much, Resident. It really is a very cool weapon. I can't wait to test it in action. Friends, I am very, very tired. I need some time to rest and get some sleep. So I'm going home for now. Let's try this sword after I've rested. We have a really, really interesting test ahead of us. And now, I need to gain strength and energy because I plan to go and fight some monsters. Oh, I finally got some sleep. Friends, it's nighttime, which means a lot of monsters have come out. Right now we're going to go test our sword and all its strengths and weaknesses. These are very dangerous monsters. They attack the village from time to time, but I really hope my new weapon can really handle them and not have to call Mikey. The most important thing is to be very, very careful. Our first monsters are already somewhere in the village, so I have to hurry. But before we continue, friends, don't forget to subscribe to us and give us likes. Our support is very important to us at a time like this. The more likes you give, the more interesting stories you will see. So now we're off to fight monsters, but first we have to find them. Perhaps they are at the other end of the village? Indeed they are! Those monsters are mermaids! They are pretty enough mermaids, but in fact, they are very, very dangerous. They like to sing and thus enchant those who fight with them. But thanks to my magic sword, I cannot be afraid of these monsters. Ouch, 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 ouch! They hurt me enough that I can't get too close to them because it can be very, very dangerous. I need to do some tactics so I can beat them. While they're floating here, I'll hit them with my magic sword and keep them from climbing up. Indeed, that's the best tactic to beat them. Do you hear me? You won't be able to hit me anymore and I'll destroy you all. You will no longer be able to attack the people of this village and take their diamonds. I will protect everyone inside the village. Take that! This sword is really very, very strong. I can only use it to fight these monsters. Boom! This sword can also fire lightning strikes, which makes it a really incredibly strong and legendary weapon. Also, this sword is very, very long. I can attack these mermaids while standing on this island and not even touching the water. There really are very, very few of them left. I can defeat them all and become a true hero of the village. You just don't have to risk jumping in the water. You have to wait for the right moment and then strike. That's the best tactic. Take that! You attacked the wrong village. You see, friends, I didn't even need Mikey's help. This weapon is really very, very cool. There's only two of them left. They definitely can't beat me now, so we can go on the attack. Yahoo! We did it! We defeated all the mermaids and saved our whole village from a massive attack. I'm going to be a hero! Phew! I'm really really tired after this fight. Time to go home and get some rest after all this. Tomorrow already we will continue to go out and have fun. I did an incredible job! Already in the morning I'll tell Mikey what monsters I fought against and how I defeated them, but now I need to lay down to rest. What? Where am I? Why am I even underwater and what happened to me? Friends, apparently I've turned into a fish. What am I supposed to do in a situation like this when I've been turned? Apparently, it's all a consequence of using that same magic sword, it turned me into a fish. I need to deal with this problem somehow because I can't be in this body. Get someone to call Mikey! He needs to find out what happened to his friend and he needs to help me somehow. Does that mean no one in the village will know that he fought for her and won? That can't just happen. No, of course, it's cool that I turned in everything, but I don't want to be like that. It turns out that I can't do the simple things I love at all. I won't be able to watch cartoons and eat delicious cookies anymore. I'm sure someone must have a potion that can bring me back and then I can rest like a real JJ. Maybe the resident has something similar that will help me in my case. I'll go look for Mikey right now and try to tell him something. That does look like fun, but is it possible that when I beat those mermaids, that's when I got that curse? If that's really the case, then I need to find my sword as soon as possible and try to destroy it. Perhaps that is the object of the curse. There are so many options, so I'll start looking at literally everything that's wrong with me. It's going to be a long time coming, friends. 
But that's a whole other story. I'll see you all very soon. Bye, everyone. <laughs>